New Year, Zoom quiz with the family. The last one we had at Christmas, happy Christmas by the way. Um, the last family Zoom quiz we had, everyone was eating Pringles and someone was drawing on the Pringles can and then the conversation went to the Pringles band. So we want to make, that's the challenge, to make an instrument out of a can of Pringles. So originally I thought I'd cut a hole in it and string some rubber bands over it. And I thought, I don't need rubber bands, I've got strings off the guitar. Then I thought, well, if I'm doing that, I could probably put a fingerboard on it. If I was doing that, I'd put a neck on it, make it long enough and make a decent scale length. And I thought if I was doing that, imagine this was wood. That's about the proportions of a ukulele. So then I thought, I'd get my ukulele kits, you know, build your own ukulele, because it would have a fingerboard, fretboard, already, and I could just use it, and I wouldn't have to measure frets and lay frets and do all that sort of hard stuff. So I went to the guitar shop in town, B Sharp Music in Dundalk, to go and buy one of those ukuleles. I've seen them in there before, I didn't have any. When I told him what I was doing, and I only needed it for the fingerboard, he asked me if I wanted this. This end's all good, but this end's damaged. As you can see here, it's been squashed onto something, or something squashed onto it when it's been transported. So the strings are all but snapped. I reckon if I pressed on that, it might, no, not too bad. But these two have snapped already. The bridge is a bit knackered, so I reckon I can uh, sand that back into a decent shape. And the, the body's damaged, so it's no good. He couldn't sell it, but well, I mean he could. He sold it to me for 25 quid. But 25 quid also included a new pack of strings. So that was quite cool. Um, it's like an 80, 90 quid you play normally. So my plan is basically that. Look how well that matches. So take the neck off, attach it to the tube, restring it. Play some, oh, terrible. Play some tunes for Christmas at New Year. How hard can that be? My name is Matt. This is my song. Oh no words. Sing along. Snap <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> them. Get rid of the strings. No. That bridge. You can see it there. It's quite scuffed. So I think what I'm going to do is deal with that later. But the main bridge here, uh, I need to get that off. So I think I'm going to use some heat. Um, but before I do that, I'm going to measure each string, measure the top, that's the bridge, that's the nut. That distance on this string, I don't, I don't even know what ukulele strings are called yet, hang on, it's probably written on my thing. So this will be the G end, will it? No, yeah, this will be the G end. G, C, D, and this will be the A end. Measure them. And then when I put this all together, I'll know where to put it back. Look down there. 341 millimeters. And I'm going to move down here and do the same thing. Put that on zero. And that's still 341. Right, well that's handy. So three, four, one to this edge. Right, so the next step is uh, a bit of boiling water, which hopefully will heat up the saw. Well, this saw is dead handy because it's bendy, so I can kind of use it as a spatula, I don't know, scraper? I don't know, we'll see. Uh, and I've also warmed up the knife. Yeah, didn't think about that. That knife is red hot. Which is good for what we want it to do, but not good for my fingers. I don't 
it is working. Do you know what I might do? I wonder if you can hear that fan. I hope not. It's going to take me a bit of work to uh, fix that in post production. Uh, hopefully the sound was better in the last video. Um, I don't know what's the story with this phone. I will eventually invest in a decent microphone. I got these for Christmas. Yeah, they're um, these yokes. They go on your like they're earphones, but they don't have any wires. And I thought they might work as a decent microphone, but they don't. Right, hopefully that heat. Has done something. Get rid of that. Try this a bit. Hopefully that now. Lift. I don't want to really cut the wood. Is it better getting the hair dryer out rather than getting this all wet? Ah! Yeah, it didn't learn the first time. I don't want to get a heat gun on because that'll be too hot and I don't want to damage the wood. But now it starts to feel like I might be doing it anyway. Start damaging this top. It's working though. No, it's working down this end. Step by step. Boom. Okay, I don't think I've damaged that at all, which is good. Um, I don't know if I actually did release the glue. Really, I think this was just glued to the finish. And it's just come off. So I'll sand that down later and that'll go back to a nice finish. Next job. Next job I think is to mark this out and cut the neck away from the body. If anyone's wondering what that's all about, that's what it's all about. Madam Beans gets a bit carried away when she's playing but now she's sleeping she's all peaceful she's got a new bow for christmas she hates it there if you can see that line and then choppy chop there choppy chop there and then i think what i'm going to do is cut strips out of here glue them all together and then I can use them to reinforce this because I don't think there's going to be enough strength in this hole I don't know I think if I keep it round the will like you can really put some force on these things when they're uh, when they stay round but as soon as you get a kink in them which I feel might happen uh, we're going to be in trouble. I think that's the line of where the back is glued to the sides. So I think I'm just going to risk it. Yeah. 
<laughs> okay, so we've got this bit of wood. Um, it's come, it's local, it's come from the forest up on the hill. We cut it, yeah, last winter. We were cutting them down into boards, and at some point there was a nail in some, some of them had nails in them. If you find a tree that's got a nail in it, it's probably got more than one nail in it, or screw. Uh, so if we get to that, we stop. So I brought a few of these home. I've just cut this off a piece. My plan now is to kind of see the radius there. So I'm going to radius this, and I can glue it inside. Radius that, and then we've got something the bridge will stick to. Might not radius it, or might leave that poking out for the bridge. I'll decide on that when we get to that point. Um, I thought I had a plane in the um, shed, a little hobby plane. Uh, no idea where it is. So, uh, might be doing this with the axe. Which will be a bit of fun. I got this last Christmas. It's a uh, Grantsfus Brooks. Split axe, firewood split axe. Sent to me by Pete, my friend in Sweden. And I'm going to sort of roughly try and get to that line. And then. Uh, Definitely would be uh, I think it would be easier with a plane. Uh, it's looking the axe is sharp really, but uh, these knots are tricky. But now we're getting there. It's got to do the whole of the rest of it. Okay, so. As far as a roughing sort of pass goes, that's not too bad. A little bit to take off of there. Just got a big lump there. Next thing we got to figure out is how do we clamp it? Will Gorilla Glue stick to the inside of this? You know what? Probably should clean out the inside of there. Yeah. Do you know what I think we'll do? Yeah. Right, so this is sanded. I've made this shorter so we can stick it in there. That goes there. That goes there. This goes on the top. When they're in the right place, that'll pop in. That'll clamp at the back and at the front. This little squeeze clamp that should hold it. Now the glue says it takes 24 hours to dry, but I haven't got that long, so we'll do it overnight. We'll give it 12 hours, what time is it now? 7, we'll probably give it 14 hours, probably be 9 o'clock before I'm up. I'm ready to do this sort of stuff. And then it's just glue the neck back on. Oh, on the bridge. And then string it and tune it, and right, we'll do all that tomorrow, but yeah, glue for now. Should have kept a bit of kitchen roll. I obviously want the Pringles logo on the top. Right on the about right so leave that for 12 hours